Hello there guys and welcome to another video. So yeah I was gone for a day. I've been sick, but here we are once again and it's time for a new video, am I right? So today we're gonna install Windows 98 second edition just for fun. Not quite in fact I'm building a system to play uh Grand Theft Auto 1 and possibly Grand Theft Auto 2. So that's the reason, the main reason actually. Well, anyway, uh, first things first, let's make sure to, to get the right disk set up. Mm, I would say, yeah, two. Is it gonna? Oh, there you go. So we got the main drive, the master drive, and uh, that's all. I imagine. Because we just got one disk, that's all we have. Uh, from here, I don't think I do have to change anything else, which is a good sign. So, we get to go from here. We can finally save and uh, reboot. So, f let's get the Windows 98 ISO in there. Second edition. Second edition. There you are. Yeah, I think that's the right one. It's a bootable CD-ROM, so you might as well take us straight to the setup screen. We won't have to boot up with a floppy, which is my main strategy. But we won't need that. As you can see, I got more RAM with 256 now, uh, which is a lot. Yeah, I know. But it's for gaming, so it does make sense. Insert system disk and press enter. Okay, let me just make sure that I got the right one in there. Because I'm afraid it might have... I might have confused the ISO, but it, it doesn't look like that. At all. Second edition, 98. Well... Okay, so... Here's the thing. It's not booting from CD-ROM, but... I know it could be the problem. Maybe it's just a setting. So, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get a floppy in there. Uh, Microsoft DOS floppy. Which then is gonna let us use the CD ROM drive and boot. So, yeah. I mean, it says the disk is bootable. So, it was meant to boot straight into the system. Mostly because this BIOS uh, kind of supports that. It's It doesn't work with like all the BIOSes, but this one is compatible with uh, bootable CD-ROMs, and that one was meant to be bootable, but, well, that doesn't matter now, you know? Let's just uh, make sure to run set up correctly. Okay, that's set up EXE. And uh, it's gonna perform a routine check on my system. Okay, cannot create it. Okay, so we have to format the disk, which does make sense. You know, it does make a lot of sense. So let's wipe the disk first. DOS partition, yes. System will restart, press any key when ready, sure. So let's format C, make sure it's wiped, and then we can proceed with uh, the Windows 98 installation. Well, it's gonna take a little longer than I thought it would take, but that's alright, you know. Not like it's gonna kill us, right? A little bit more time. It's just, it's just a slight delay, just a little off track, but it's it's okay um, Christ I think I bricked it because like shit okay let's let's make sure to reboot again and let's do it right this time no no CD-ROM inside the drive bay just the Microsoft DOS uh, floppy which is probably gonna take us to, okay, doesn't read my hard disk. Excuse me. 
Okay, that's concerning. It's actually weird, but let's see. For Matt C. Yes. There you go. We got a we got a quite big disc for the nineties, one gig. Because I want to install some games, make it my own like gaming station, retro gaming station. Uh, let's call it gaming PC. Now let's just go with like Windows. It's not a very creative name, but it does what it have to do. It it does what it has to do. I mean. So let's run, set up. Oh yeah, I forgot the CD. I forgot the CD, but let's see, is it gonna retry? Okay, so it's gonna run a routine check. And uh, of course, it's not gonna fail this time, I'm sure it won't. And if it does, I'll be pretty mad. Okay, so it, it worked, which is excellent. So let me just make sure to edit uh, the screen settings there which okay I misclicked I transform and just to screen that's way better now you guys can see the whole setup screen it's gonna be way faster than usual because I'm doing a CD-ROM install not a floppy install so that does help a little bit when it comes to the overall speed of the whole process it's saying three minutes there but it's definitely not gonna take this long. So it's not an ID uh, hard disk. So yeah, it's gonna prepare the files. Let me just make sure to keep the uh, keys visible there. Okay, that's better. So whenever it prompts like uh, activation window, I'll be ready with them. CD keys. It's this one actually, but force of habit. Just making sure we got space, which we do. We do have a lot of space. Okay, so it's gonna be a typical. Yeah. Install the most common components. Show me the list. Wow, that's a weird name. Okay, let's call it a 98 second edition one. Yeah, computer description. My gaming rig. Uh, not quite, you know. Not trig. Gaming rig, that's better. Uh, location. Brazil. Where's Brazil? Brazil, 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 Brazil. Uh, okay, it's down there. There you are. Start up disk. Okay, no. I don't want that. Start your computer. Cancel. I don't want to. I don't want to make a start up disk. All right. Next. All right. He doesn't even ask, like, at first if I want to make the disk or if I don't want to make the disk, which I find very, very uh aggressive you know they should they, sh they should ask do you want to make a startup disc no i don't okay so please sit back and relax and it's not gonna show us like a progress bar <laughs> that's that's funny like no progress bar at all we, we have to guess how far we are into this install okay there you are so it's finally it's finally showing some signs of life uh, pretty slow rate but still you know it's alive oh boy that's a very very slow progress mm. well slow progress you know what I Reminds me, South America, communist South America, slow, very slow. A very slow rate, a 7% rate, oh boy.
Is it gonna like ramp up out of the blue? I really hope so because I just I just don't want to stare at blue screen for more than 10 minutes. So Windows 98 helps you get the most out. Okay, great. So it finally changed. Snow release includes hundreds of enhancements and new features based on customer requests and product support experiences. As predecessor, Windows 98 supports snow cutting edge technologies. Cutting edge, yeah, sure, of course. Okay, your computer and internet are easier to use than ever before. Simplify navigation features like the back forward favorite. Oh my god, okay, that's just too old. <laughs> back when those things were cool, now it's just like, oh, okay, great. But, you know. And you can open a file program with a single click. Oh, look at that. I still double click most most of my stuff on Windows 10. Force of Abbott, like Windows 95, it was double click. So, yeah. I still double click everything. I, I know, maybe it's double click now. I never tried it, single clicking. You know, it becomes like second nature after years and years of Windows 95 and the Windows XP and stuff like that it just you know I was used to clicking twice I still click twice and uh, it, it's not as easy to get that you forgot to do that you know it's not easy to just oh let's not do that again because that's not how it works I mean if you're used to, to a certain thing and then uh, out of the blue you have to stop doing that because it's not needed anymore. It's just hard to, you know, get out of the mindset. It takes time. It takes time. It's like trying to quit, like, smoking, stuff like that, you know. It's hard. I mean, you're used to smoke, like, every day. On well, fucking daily, you're always, like, smoking, smoking, and then, no, you have to quit. No more smoking. It's not that easy, you know, because it becomes sort of a habit. And I sort of second nature to you, like your hands are used to be holding the tire and so on. So, yeah, there's that. But, yeah, I think I went a little too far comparing uh, smoking with like double clicking. But you got, you got my point, you know. Like one one other thing that I got back from the days with like limited RAM, because like uh, I had uh, 256 megabytes of RAM for more than 10 years, and I uh, I used to to browse with like two tabs maximum, because more than two would break the system, would make it freeze, or it would become so slow that it would get unusable. So I kind of had to to work with only two tabs, and then when I when I switched to like four gigs of RAM back in 2013, I still like couldn't manage to use more than two because it became a habit. So whenever I had more than two tabs, I would like crash. My brain would literally crash because I could not handle more than two tabs. And then I got over it. And I started using like five tabs, which was what my four gigs of RAM could cope with. You know, because like back in the day, back when I had Windows XP and like 256 megabytes of RAM. It was like two tabs using only like 120 megabytes of RAM was still a thing. It was Internet Explorer 6. Uh, tab browsing was quite a new thing. You know, it was very recent still. So web browsing wasn't as demanding as it is now. Because like today a single page uses more than one gigabyte of RAM. 
sometimes it's not all pages of course but if you take like Facebook or YouTube for instance you'd be looking at a lot of RAM usage so now it takes a little more but still I went like from two to five tabs like I used them five tabs and now that I have like 16 I still browse with five because it became a sort of standard I mean you know it was my safe my safe zone and whenever I, I open more and I see my RAM ramping up like using seven of my 16 I'm like holy shit okay that's a lot I gotta close some tabs you know I can't cope with that many I know it's weird it's really weird and dumb because like I see my, my friends using like 20 40 tabs at once and I know I could do that I could use more than that actually because like 20 tabs is doable with 8 gigs of RAM so you can literally like aim for twice as much with 16 but I just can't my brain just it triggers me, you know? It's really hard. I tried. It was one day when I tried. I just... I won't close any tab. I'll just... If I need a new page, I might just add a new tab and then add a new tab and so on and so on. No more closing tabs. And when I was like around 3 and it was using 10 gigs of my RAM, I was like, no. No, I have to close. I can't. I can't. It's just... It's hard, like when you are used to like be on the very limits of your system with like so little, like two, three tabs and then all of a sudden you, you don't have limits anymore, you just, you can go wherever you want to go, I mean, sky's the limit, but you know, it's just, I don't know. It's just hard to get used to the freedom, you know, you're used to be locked and then out of out of the blue there's no like doors anymore there's no walls the world's yours and what and what do you do you didn't do shit you you, you were so used to being locked so used to being you know in a very place that you just don't feel like going anywhere you know even though you could and before you would actually want to do that you dream of leaving and shit but once the once the walls are are down, you're just like, do I really want to go there? Do I really want to leave my comfort zone and go somewhere else? Is that what what I need? Like freedom? What's freedom? You know, you get so used to not being free that when you're free, it just it just doesn't feel the same. You know, you got used to not being free, it became your freedom, sort of. It's kind of, it's hard to explain, but once you taste it, you know what I mean. It just, you know, it becomes your freedom. And that was a very deep uh, line of thought, I know. That was very unexpected, I imagine. Like, if you're on YouTube looking for how to install Windows 98 and then... All of a sudden it just starts to become sort of, you know, a bunch of random thinking about life and shit. It's just, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I, I know. It's not, it's not like frequent. <laughs> it's not common at all to see such thing, but I don't know. I just had to, 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 to. Uh, talk about that for a second. And look at that, we are 88, 88% now, so that, that saved us some time. I mean, I was distracted thinking about those limitations, and now look at us. We're almost there. You know, we're 90% now. Look at that. But yeah, dude, it's, it's just, it's hard, you know. It's very hard to... you break out you know once you're you're so used to like having like limits like RAM wise mostly because like I always always had a sort of entry-level system so it was always on a very edge 
of trash, you know. It wasn't full garbo, but it was always on the edge. So the first time I got an overkill system, it was like, wow, I got I got a lot of RAM. What can I do with that much RAM? What are the limits? And then you just uh, you just can't break out of what you were used to, you know. It's deep, and only a few ones get to understand that because like. I know most of you guys like always have money and always had like high end systems, but that was not my case. Okay, restart your computer. Okay, let's get the floppy out disk eject. Okay, I'm ready. Fun thing that restart screens from like Windows 3.11, 3.1. It's very old school, and I like that. Okay, so here we go. It reads the memory have 120 megahertz processor which is fast enough I would say it's not like wow but it does the trick for basic gaming getting ready to run Windows for the first time okay that's that's cool boy I find it funny how they kept same like Log on screen from Windows 95, same clouds. I mean, it does make sense. It was just uh, three years, six, seven, yeah, three years. So it does make a lot of sense that they kept a lot of the identity, you know. It was just, it was meant to be a minor upgrade with just a few extra features, but like, uh, they never aimed like to be like a massive jump like Windows XP to Windows Vista for instance which was a massive jump uh, Windows 98 was just like what can I say uh, a patch we could say that you know it improved upon something that was pretty good already like Windows Windows 95 was definitely the OS that got Microsoft on the map you know so Okay, let's see if it registers, hopefully. There it goes, saved all information, it's good. So now we have the driver part. It's gonna try and read which uh, graphics cards we got, which mouse, keyboard, stuff like that. It's a little boring, but we can survive that. But anyway, uh, where was I? Damn, I've I'm lost. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Windows 98 was just sort of patch, you know. It w it wasn't meant to be a massive jump, and uh, you know they, they they did great. It wasn't like wow, but it was definitely a very stable OS back in the day. And uh, it kind of set the way for Windows 2000 and Windows XP, which was definitely uh, Microsoft's uh, masterpiece. We all love Windows XP. I mean, like, it's probably the only OS that got no people saying, oh, holy shit, I hated Windows XP. You know, we all loved Windows XP. Like, when I go to those Windows XP videos on YouTube, I just don't find any sort of hate comments like saying oh Windows XP sucks nah usually it's just like oh that's the best system ever system of my childhood or oh I still use Windows XP I wouldn't like to still use Windows XP but you know it's not safe plus games don't run anymore recent web browsers don't run anymore so it's just it's just pointless you know sometimes we have to just let it go sometimes it's just it's for the best you know learning to let go and uh, it's hard I know it's hard it's a very very hard process you know getting learning to, to let go whether it's a system or a person you used to care about a person that passed away and you know 
it's kind of it's quite a challenge to to accept the fact that it's not there with you anymore you know whether it's a system or person or whatever you know a dog it's just that you know it's hard for your brain to get used to the absence you know but once once you once you start I wouldn't say I wouldn't say heals because the wound never heals but it gets it starts to hurt a little less you know it gets sort of numb after quite some time you kind of you know you get used to the pain so it's like it's not there anymore I mean it's always there but you got used to it so it doesn't hurt because it's not like physical pain it's emotional pain so you know you just you just get used to it and it, it doesn't hurt anymore I mean if you think about it 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 does hurt but like when you don't think about it it doesn't quite hurt but oh, I wouldn't say that works for XP or any sort of computer system more like uh, like someone you care about a loved one a grandma grandpa you know father Jesus, it's getting too deep. I'm sleepy, so my brain just, you know, it kind of bounces a little bit to weird stuff. Mac to Windows 98, for God's sake, let's get shit installed and get drivers in there so that we can play some old games and maybe enjoy some networking as well, which I want to do. I wonder if it's running Windows. Uh, Internet Explorer f f 5 or maybe 4. Kind of curious about which version it's running. Probably 4.0. You know, and we'll figure out soon enough. I hope it kind of reads my graphics card. Come on, set it up, please. Plug and play devices you may have. Oh, those eight old old days when plug and play was such a thing. I still remember like a, a boxes saying, "Oh, it's plug and play <laughs> for mouses mostly, microphones, keyboards." You know, it had like a massive cir circle on a box saying, "Oh, it's plug and play," like it was something <laughs> so dope. I mean, it, it was. Like, today, we just take it for granted, you know, regarding uh, plug and play stuff. We just assume it is plug and play, and most of the time, yeah, it is. Which does, does make sense. It's 2018, so, you know, it's to be expected, but like, you know. It's weird how some things that used to be like priorities are just not anymore. They just became like normal. It's like plug and play was such a selling point. Like not being, uh, like not having the need to install drivers. You know, mess around with CD-ROMs. It was just about plugging and boom, there you go, it's installed. That was such a mind-blowing feature back in the day. And now it's just, you know. If it doesn't have plug and play, it sucks. People are probably gonna be mad at it and show bad reviews on Amazon because they expect it to be plug and play. And I fully understand that. I mean, it's 2018, for God's sake. I mean, even like 10 years ago, plug and play was was already standard, a uh, well set uh, standard. And uh, that's why people kind of still hate on Linux because plug and play doesn't quite work. Uh, on Linux, you know, I mean, for most mainstream uh, thingies, it does work fine. But like, if you want to have like a lighting engine for your keyboard, and uh, you know, it just doesn't work straight off the box. You have to use Wine, and it's a little, uh, it's lame. Like a Razer stuff, for instance. Like when I, when you plug the mouse in, it just you know it it takes you to uh, their software. I forgot the name. It's 
Synapse, something like that. It's like installed on the mouse itself. So whenever you plug it in, it 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 throws you to the setup screen, which is something that I, I mean, if you told me like uh, 15 years ago that one day there would be a mouse that went plugged, it would prompt you to install uh, the driver. I wouldn't believe it. You know, I would not believe. It. I would not believe it at all. If you if you went there and told me, oh, they're gonna make a mouse that has software inside of it, and whenever you plug it in, it it takes you to the install screen. I would say you you're you're, you're kidding me. It doesn't make sense. But hey, here we are. You know, we got this far, <laughs> and it doesn't work on Linux. Nice. So you kind of have to go with custom drivers, custom settings. She have something as uh, a sort of similar experience, which is pretty bad. So it kind of shows how important it is, you know, the plug and play thingy. Because ha having to like mess around with settings to get stuff working, you know, have having to look for workarounds on Google isn't quite uh, what people want. You know, they want things to work straight off the box. Which does make sense. I mean, I know it sounds a little uh, lazy, uh, but plug and play is a must. And now we take it for granted. But like twenty years ago, it was it was a feature. It was a major selling point. All the boxes had like PNP written on it because it was important. It was something that people were looking forward to, and now they just buy it and they hope it works. If it does not work, they're throwing in bad reviews and saying, oh, this shit sucks, it doesn't it doesn't work. I had to install drivers, oh, that's pretty bad. You know, things change. Things change pretty quickly. Like solid st state drives, for instance, like they used to be so expensive, now they're getting pretty affordable. And uh, you know, at first they used to be very unreliable. Now they get they they're getting more reliable than hard drives. So most servers are switching to a solid state now, because it was very unreliable back then regarding read and write uh, cycles. But now it just you know, it just it's a long-lasting thingy. They finally fixed SSDs and uh, it kind of fits into your pockets now, money wise. Okay, so we're well, welcome to Windows 98. I know. Oh, for Windows not working, sure. There is the password. Let's confirm the password. Password it is. And uh, it found. Uh, oh, it found one. Please tell me it's gonna read. Tell me it's gonna detect my graphics card. Oh, ho, ho, we got a uh, sound system. Creative, advanced wave. <laughs> One. Oh, there you go. You have to restart again. Okay. All right. Yeah, sure. Oh boy, I hate installing stuff at night because my brain's like. My brain doesn't quite function properly so I just start to talk about random stuff and it's probably weird as fuck you guys must be like what the fuck's this guy talking about I just want my Windows 98 for God's sake you know oh there you go so we type in the password hopefully we're gonna be able to change the screen resolution because I want something a little more visible this is just not enough. I want like 1024 768, which is like, uh, well, it was quite crispy. Now it's just lame, you know. But back in the day, that was the best thing that we could get, the money could get. I mean, of course, 1080p was a thing back there, back then, but it was very expensive, so. The best I could afford was 1024 768, and probably the best like Normies could afford 
back in the day. So welcome to Windows 98. Okay. Register now. Discover Windows 98. I don't want to discover Windows 98. I think I know enough. I just want to change appearance settings. Tell me I can. Oh, there we go. So we have 256 colors. And wow, we can go up to 1600. One two hundred. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, sixteen hundred by twelve hundred pixels. But I'm gonna go with this one, which it's more than enough. Restart. Apply new color settings without restarting. Okay. Yeah, we don't have to restart. I want to keep the setting. Okay, let's see if internet works. So, oh, let me adjust. Make sure it fits the screen uh, on the recording tool. There you go. Now you guys can see my Windows 98 system. So we got, we have uh, the graphics card driver installed by default, which is quite cool. Now we can go to the settings control panel. Mm, all right. So let's take a look at the system. Open. So as you can see, 256 is a Pentium processor, Vice Manager. It does read our S3 PCI card. Look at that, wonderful. So it's installed. That's great. Hardware, hardware, 90% free. System resources. That's great. 32 bit. Display keyboard, internal options. No, it's. There you go. Wow, it changed. Oh no, it's not what I want to do. Okay, shit, I can close it without typing numbers, which is lame. I find it weird. Okay, where is that working? Oh, there you are. So, TCP IP. Okay, so here's access control following network components are installed. Spin. Uh, 192, 168, uh, 15, 107, 255, 255, 255, 0, okay, uh, we have to set up a standard, uh, oh, that's a problem here, uh, I set up the wrong one, 107, subnet, Two five five, two five five. Oh shit! Oh, misclicked. Okay. Two five five zero. So gateway, it's gonna be one ninety two one six eight fifteen one. Oh god. Okay, add DNS configuration. Enable DNS host. Win. Uh, it's gonna be eight. Eight, 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 four, four. Okay, so we have DNS, that BIOS. It's probably gonna work. You must restart your computer. Okay, yes, let's restart. That means quick. It's pretty quick. So it doesn't matter much as long as. As long as it works, and that's the whole point, you know. So, if it works, it works. Windows 98, look at that. Alright, so welcome to Windows 98 again. Oh, we have to type in a password. And uh, welcome to the system. I imagine this sounds pretty slow. But there you go. So control panel can be closed. I think we do have an IP now. Let me make sure. Uh, IP config. Okay, so let's try. Should ping my server. Yeah, it does work. We do have internet. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty good. Let's see if DNS works. Well, yeah, so we managed shipping Google. 
So it means internet's okay. Oh, welcome to Internet Explorer. Welcome to MSN Internet Access. Okay, we need don't detect. Okay, that's better. I think I do have a modem. It's gonna. Oh my god. Can I skip that? I'm wondering if I can just skip because we do have connection. You guys saw that. I mean, it's ping in IPs, so it does mean we have. It's uh. Where's N? N N N N. Can I have a moment? Let's just. It's it's not there. No worthy Nokia. There's no wall. No wall. No wall. No wall. There's no no wall. Well, okay, that's a problem. Next. Cancel. Wow, it froze. Cool. So. Can we just go to the browser without the fucking. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Huh, seriously. So it's gonna force me. Alright, so let's just install a random one. And let's say it's our modem. Okay. So let's just call it standard uh, X2 modem, yeah. I hope it doesn't like destroy my my working connection. You know, it doesn't f uh, fuck up with my settings. United States of America. Uh, huh, huh, huh. United States. Yeah. Free telephone call. Dial. Cancel. Oh my god. So it doesn't let me browse without. Jesus, that's lame. Like, seriously. So, seems like we can't browse the internet at all. <laughs> It's just not gonna let us do that. What a shame. Come on, Microsoft. So, yeah, no internet for us. Which is a shame. But hey, we have some games, don't we? <gasps> There's no games? Windows 98, where's the games? Come on. No. How come there ain't no games? What? Oh my god. Okay, I'm mad. Let's see. Can we open MSN without... Oh, come on. I almost... almost got it. It sh showed up, but... Okay. You won. Microsoft Network. You guys won. You guys won. I give up to this very point. And that's it. So, the video was installing windows 98 pretty much that was the video title so i hope you guys understand uh yes i wanted to get networking to work but it did not so yeah that's gonna be it for the video and uh, expect a video soon on like grand theft auto 1 maybe grand theft auto 2 as well so i'd like to thank you guys for watching to this very point i hope it was fun and don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe if you wish. And leave a like. Or don't. It's up to you. I don't mind. But if you dislike this video, I'm gonna find you. And kill you. JK. I don't mind. It's up to you. Anyway, goodbye. Take care.